All right, guys, out here again today on Norfolk Lake. It is a beautiful day here in mid-November. Come back out here with my buddy Justin. We came here a few weeks ago and it was 36 mile an hour wind. We just didn't feel like we got on fish. We didn't get on fish. And so we wanted to give it another try. Come out here. We are gonna see if we can catch some crappie. Uh, we're back here in the creek. Like that right there. We're gonna do some scanning, take you through that, show you how we're finding these fish and then what we're using to catch them on. So stay with us. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video and stay on our YouTube channel. Let's get after them and see if we can get some fish caught. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a little bit here on how we are finding these fish. We sat in here this morning up in a new area and we're, we've already found couple spots that's been holding fish here so I've shown you before but I've, we're setting our map to a range so I've got it set from 20 foot to 30 foot it's showing up in green on my map so I know I can stay right in that whenever I'm scanning and I'm in the middle between 30 foot on the deep end 20 foot on the shallow end that's where I think the fish are gonna be at so that's how the map is set up so you're you're narrowing the lake down a lot by doing that over on the side scan, I've got it out on 100 foot. This is kind of a flat type area that we're at right now. I've got it set out 100 feet. And so when we're going down through here, I'm seeing all the way out 100 feet both sides. And then I'm looking for brush in these areas, pulling around. Maybe I, sometimes I can tell that there's fish on them from the side scan. And sometimes we're having to turn around, drive over it with the down scan see that there's fish on it and then turn around and go back and fish it so that's the most efficient way you cut your lake down it takes the the big hugeness of the lake narrows it down to the green area that you need to be traveling and then you're just cruising that until you see something that you like turn around on it either down scan it or put your live scope down and then start catching fish so or not so uh, if you don't catch fish on that spot, we, we hit one this morning where we pulled up to it, didn't catch a fish off of it, go to the very next spot that we hit, bam, start hammering them. So hopefully that helps you uh, knowing how we're doing it to get out and find new spots to fish. You guys, you can see that we have found a pile of fish here. We're going to cast in there and see if we can get one to bite. Here he comes. There he is. I don't know if he's a he might be. Yeah, he ain't a bad fish at all. There we go. Another old goodie. Found us a little honey hole right here. I'll tell you using this uh shank bait. It's got that yellow hip on it man they're liking that just using a uh, split shot up above it pulling a few in here starting out pretty good there's one yep there's one right there there's another one I don't know if he'll measure or not he's gonna be close he's not bad See if we can pull one out of here. Here he comes. There he is, boys. Right there. Come right out of that brush pile, hit the old shank bait. Good old white crappie. Man, them fun to catch right there. Look at there. Nice keeper white right there, boys. There we go. That's what we're after today. It's about 11 incher. So, I'm gonna get Justin out from behind that camera and get him on a couple. Right there, all right. Stop it right there. Start it up. Keep coming up. Keep reeling. 
A little faster. Here you can, a little faster. Here it comes one, keep coming. Boom. Seen him, got him, boys. Come up there. Of course, Justin would catch the dinks, but he is catching them. I'm on dink patrol. Dink patrol. He white. You weed out those dinks, and then I'll catch the. You catch the slabs. <laughs> That's what we do. It's gonna take a second here to show you what me and Justin's using today. We are using the new six six single piece rod from ACC, and I am absolutely loving this thing. It's you can feel everything so good and uh, that's what we're using for casting today so a lot of times like norfolk is a clear water lake and we're casting to them letting it fall and then picking it back up really loving this 66 it's the gs 661p that's the number for this one that we're using the tackle that we're using is i'm just using straight braid down to an acc eighth ounce jig head i'm using black i think justin's using blue and then paired with the shank the 175 shank bait and they're really liking that today uh not really having a lot of trouble with them biting this straight braid so i'm not using a leader uh, but if i feel like during the day that they slow down or they're reluctant to hit it i might would put on a fluorocarbon leader here and then up above it, we're just putting a split shot to kind of help it sink down just a little bit faster. So that's what we're using here today. A 10 pound braid is what I have on this rod. And like I said, again, really loving this 6.6 six single piece rod. It's my new go-to for casting, I believe. So there you go. We're gonna get back uh, catching some fish. All right. So it seems like we're needing to pull them out. Here it comes. There you go. There he is. Come on up here to daddy. Oh yeah, big old big mouth. Not used to catching these whites as much, but them are just good, good fish. Seems like they got a little bit better bite on them than them blacks. Good whites up here at North Fork. Uh, at Bull, the same type of day, you'd, almost every one we would've caught would've been black, but we're on a pile of white crappie right here, 12 or 13 inch right there, and. He's going in the live well, we're gonna eat him. So what we're doing today, guys, and this is what I do typically, you know, on my casting setups, is I'm casting past the pile. If I have a pile of fish, I'm casting past that pile, even if it's going past where I think the fish are at, and then I'm pulling it over the top of them. And what that's doing, it's letting me pull that bait slowly all the way over the top of that pile until I, get a fish that's chasing it once i get one chasing it i'll start pulling it away from him like right now i got one chasing it right here i don't know if he'll commit or not but he's coming up here to hit it maybe come on baby. nope he's going back down but i'm pulling it i'm pulling it all the way over until i have a crappie break off break up out of the pile after my jig once i can see that one's committed i'm starting my retrieve i'm starting to bring it up <clears throat> the faster that fish comes after my jig, the faster I reel or the faster I lift my rod. And you get that reaction strike of, you know, they think that bait's getting away from them and it drives them to hit it versus just sitting there static, you know, right in their face. So I'll pull right over here again. I'm pulling right over it. I've got, boom, right there. Got him. So I'm just pulling right over the top of that pile until I get one to break off and then pulling right up, so. There we go. I'm gonna get another crappie out of this pile here, and that's just how I'm working it every time. Okay, right there. Slow doing that. Got him. Boom, baby. Boom. Nope. That's a little better one right there. What are you talking about? Oh, good old fish. There it is right there. Not a bad one right there. A little short. Might be 10. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us today out here on North Fork Lake, mid-November. 
uh, come out today and caught some white crappie up here. Had a blast. Got to put Justin on some finally today, and uh, we just really had a good, really good time using the 6.6 ACC rod, the new one piece. Loving that rod. Go check them out, acccrappiesticks.com. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can bring you some more content along. Thanks for staying with us, and we'll see you on the next video.